Hey gang, Diana here today with uh, some uh, additional information on a blog post I put up on the Joggles blog a couple weeks ago. I'll link that blog post below and I'm also going to have some information on my blog and these are so cool. They're called Artist Trading Blocks and this is the first time I have worked with these. I was really having a good time uh, with um, just trying to leave some white space in this project. It's a it's a trouble I think a lot of us have and it's a um, certainly a challenge for me. I tend to be more of a painter and want to fill in every space. So I was using some Dina Wakely paint. I love this paint by the way. It's very nice and I used some golden paints. I just wanted to add a little bit. That Titan Buff is a really nice color. There's a few companies that have a, a kind of a neutral off-white light beige color that I, I love to use. It keeps a light feel to these projects a lot of times. I am showing you now that I did some writing. I looked up some quotes and used a, some quotes on my favorite bird quotes and I'll put those up on my blog as well. Now I just run that gelato right over the uh, dauber there. Any kind of dauber will do. Any daub will do. And um, just I, I added some stenciling and now I'm just adding some pencil again. Again trying to keep things light on this project and you can see the stenciling there. And just using my own handwriting, uh, you can certainly use uh, any kind of writing you like if you would like to use um, text that you've printed off of the computer or stamps to uh, work out some some kind of writing that's that's good whatever works for you I think we all worry way too much about our handwriting uh, it's just uh, seems sad to me to not put your own hand on something because you're feeling bad about your handwriting it's it's a mark that you're making sorry I'm a little off camera this is typical of me you guys <laughs> know me not by now I'm doing some embossing on this as well using one of my favorite Carabelle stamps. This is one of Bergie Koopsen stamps and uh, I do made sure this was super dry and tested uh, the paint to make sure it was dry by adding some um, embossing powder straight onto the project and it was fine. I just dry it a little more of your sticks and then use that anti-static tool and um, look at that. I love to watch embossing. I love to watch that change. It's just magical. I also use some of Joggle's background dots stamps you can see and another Carabelle stamp. I used some of the German scrap from Joggle's and I think that just added just a, the perfect charming touch to these pieces. Uh, did not like using the sticky tape. I don't know whether the sticky tape is too old or what the problem was. I couldn't get it, the liner off. So um, after struggling with it a lot, I wound up using a strong glue. Um, any kind of tacky glue or the one I have on hand is the mono adhesive, very sticky stuff. But I'm going forward with the tape here and lining things up. Uh, the other nice thing about the uh, wet glue is that you can you can move the pieces around to make sure you've got them where you want them. But these were super easy to put together. I did uh, use some washi tape uh, to further decorate them and I used some, what was it? I think it was Texture Lux, that's right, from um, Faber-Castell to edge out things. So you can see the washi tape going there 
and just I just had a good time. I was took my inspiration from a book cover uh, that I had seen. Still haven't read the book. It's called The Nest. I'll link it below. I hope you enjoyed this project. I had a good time working in three dimensions. I'm usually stuck in two, so it was fun for me. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have a moment, and I will see you soon.